Hello, and welcome to this video. This is going to be about the state of the environment, uh, state of the environment, and I'm going to cover some different topics in this video here. Uh, but it's not good, the state of the environment, in uh, both locally as well as the country as a whole. Uh, we're going through a lot of problems right now, uh, whether it be our blowhard president gutting a lot of uh, you know regulations to help protect the environment, uh, he's also gone after the Endangered Species Act now. Um, the man is the, the man is just pure evil. Donald J. Trump is a very evil person. All right, uh, and I'm going to put that out there because it's it's the truth. He is, he is a very evil person. And uh, and then we have the corruption and problems locally regarding the environment, uh, whether it be the lack of preservation of our pine barrens. Uh, the lack of proper fire management, and worst of all, the uh, complete lack of respect for the Pine Barrens completely on Long Island, because on Long Island and in New York in particular, uh, you know, the way it works, uh, the Pine Barrens largely lie in the middle of the island, and in the middle of the island, because it's not uh, an area full of lily-white, preppy, politically connected finance professionals, uh, that it gets neglected because it, only the areas where these finance professionals live are taken care of. Uh, and the areas in the middle of the island that are a mix of all different kinds of people continue to get neglected worse and worse and worse. And uh, nowhere is this more evident than in the Pine Barrens in some ways because when you go into the Pine Barrens, particularly in Deer Park, uh, you know, and you walk around the woods and you look at all these beautiful pines and then you look uh, at the ground and along the roads and you see trash everywhere. You see trash everywhere, whether it be construction debris, like in this picture here, uh, you have uh, plastic bottles all over the place. Um, it's terrible. It's terrible. And then you have the homeless living in the woods uh, as well. Uh, and uh, this is a serious problem. Uh, and, and, and this is and getting this cleaned up isn't possible. You contact all these different authorities, and they all pass the buck, whether it be the DEC, whether it be the town, whether it be the county. Uh, meanwhile, this trash continues to get worse and worse and worse in Deer Park, and it's it's out of control. And they'll and, and you know they need to clean this up. You know, if this was on the South Shore, it would be cleaned up. That's just the thing. Um, be, it, Wall Street basically runs everything, and they are they control the government, and they demand the best for their own kind, their own kind on the South Shore, while the middle of the island uh, com is completely forgotten, and the Pine Barrens are are completely forgotten. And you see, as a result of this, the the trash. And this is this is along the, the road in uh, when I took my hike in uh, Deer Park the other day, and came acro out across by the road from where the service road is for Pilgrim. And when I looked in the grass, I saw this. This is the caterpillar, the larval stage, the caterpillar for an absolutely beautiful butterfly. All right. And so this is a habitat, this area, for the tiger swallowtail butterfly. That's right. That's what this larva, this uh, caterpillar, actually does become this beautiful butterfly. Uh, and it's, 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 its habitat is being trashed. And no one seems to care except me and maybe a few other people. Meanwhile, when you go to Lily White Preppy Finance Professional Babylon, everything is nice and clean, and their train station is safe because, after all, you know they have the you know it's being they're getting security enhancements. Well, we're completely forgotten. But this is all part of the plan. You see, this is all part of the plan to purge us to New Jersey. Uh, they don't care about working class. They don't care about minorities. They don't care about seniors. They don't care about the disabled. It doesn't matter the party. They're all in bed with Wall Street, and uh, this is this is uh, this is how it's going to now. Uh, now I'm going to get a little personal here because I feel um, I'm seeing the changes, and it continues to get worse uh, here on Long Island, in the middle of the island, in particular where I live in Mineola. Uh, it is getting out of control with the vagrants at the train station. Some days they're just everywhere. Today was one of those days where they were just everywhere, all over the place. And you could tell, you know, these people are strung out all over the place. And 
Uh, I actually did hear back from uh, my assemblyman at Ra. They're waiting on a response from the MTA. The MTA is ignoring us. They don't care about us in Mineola. They don't care that we are going through this because it's all part of the plan to make our lives miserable in the middle of the island, so we leave. That's what they want. They want us in New Jersey. It's obvious they want us in New Jersey. All right? Um, you know, you take a look at the latest attack on uh, this a little, uh, you know, off topic here, but, you know, the latest attack on, on MTA employees, you know, because the snobs, and I'm going to say that word because sometimes it's warranted, the Wall Street people and their little finance, little preppy way on, the, on their train, especially in the Babylon branch, resent the fact that these workers can make as much, maybe even sometimes more as them, which is absolutely ridiculous because these workers have a very important job of safely transporting people every single day. And yet they are demonized by the governor, by, by so many people. Because the governor's in bed with Wall Street, and what is going to wind up happening is these people, uh, these employees, are going to say, screw it. New Jersey Transit's hiring, they're desperate for new employees, and they're going to go to New Jersey Transit. And now we're going to have employee shortages and cancel trains. Great way to protect the environment, Mr. Cuomo. Now you just demonize the workers who are, are trying to bring, get people out of their cars and on the mass transit. Now you just demonize them. All right? So uh, the, this is, it is getting worse for me personally because every day I've got to see these things, whether it be the graffiti, whether it be the bums, whether it be uh, the trash everywhere. You know, I go to Hicksville. And, uh, and yesterday, I go to Hicksville, I'm at the train station, and there are police cars parked everywhere. This won't make the news, but I heard from a Facebook group that there was a major fight there. This is an, uh, in, at, in, uh, at a bus stop in front of the train station, a major fight. People were fighting all over the place. Uh, they were going into the road, into traffic. They were drunk. They were out of their minds, these, these homeless people, these bums. I'm not even going to call them homeless people. They're bums. All right, they're bumps. All right, out into traffic, and this is an ongoing issue. The police were there, and uh, and then, and, well, I go there today, and guess what? They're back. The bums are back, sitting in the same spot that they're always sitting in. There's one on the platform. He doesn't get on the train. This is what this, these people are up to. No freaking good. I go into Macy's in the mall, and I see a uh, cracked glass, and then I go into the bathroom, and there's and it smells like weed because somebody has weed on them. This is what we got to deal with in the middle of the island. This is what they're doing to us. And I'm sorry for going off topic, but it, it is some way an environment, environmental issue because it's the environment around me where I live that is becoming third world country. Meanwhile, on the preppy, spoiled South Shore, everything is taken care for them because they work on Wall Street. They got the white skin. They got the, the Wall Street jobs, the finance professionals, and, and, and they only want to be with their own kind. So there you go. You know, that's what you get on the South Shore. They only want to be of their own kind. But here's the thing. Most of those towns on the South Shore are only 10 to 20 feet above sea level and will flood within the next 10 to 20 years as the ice caps continue to melt. But they would rather be with their own kind than have to be in the middle of the island and actually live w among people that are actually different than them. All right? Which is ridiculous. So I'm sorry for the rant. I had to throw that in there. But, uh, you know, it's... Uh, you know, it's getting difficult for me. And then I see put on News 12, news, I was watching News 12 yesterday, and our lovely blowhard president, apparently HUD, is cutting funding for uh, a, a program that's extremely similar to mine, a uh, housing program. And this person in the story, uh, I'll put that link in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the description below, this person is getting forced out of their apartment. All right? But this is what we have, the continued demonization of disabled people on Long Island, disabled people like me, people like uh, other people, like the people in this story, uh, this is the way we're treated. And, you know, Trump, you know, he cuts the funding for HUD, and then the state government doesn't pick up the tab enough for people to stay. You know, and they live in Hempstead. They shouldn't have to live in a dangerous town like Hempstead. They should get to live in a safe town. God forbid they could live in Belmore. No, we can't have that. Sorry, we only want to be with our own kind. Just take a look in the mirror, people in Belmore. Take a damn look in the mirror. Now anybody can walk here from wherever, and they're coming from all over the place. I know people who come from Westbury, East Meadow, Hicksville. Oh, you don't want outsiders in your communities. You don't want outsiders parking at your train station. You demand the best for your own kind, while all the Pine Barrens in the middle of the island are being littered and trashed. 
you know. But, you know, this is all part of the end game, and I keep telling people about the end game because maybe there's some people out there that just don't believe me. But it's true. It's true what's happening. Uh, when I was in New Jersey, I spoke to a gentleman who uh, has, was somewhat aware of what was going on on Long Island, and he knows somebody, a good friend of his, who actually happened to live in Mineola, I believe, and, and he moved out to New Jersey. So this is what's going on. We're being forced out. One by one, we're being forced out, whether it be our communities being trashed, whether it be our transportation being neglected, whether it be criminals and bums and dangerous, unstable people being dumped on our streets, whether it be empty storefronts in our towns, and whether it be literally uh, people being forced out of their apartments because their programs are being defunded. This is happening across Long Island. This is all part of the plan to purge us out. All right, and I'm sorry, I know I'm a little off topic on this video, and I really don't like bringing this topic up anymore, and I've said it a million times, uh, but sometimes I have to let this off my chest. Sometimes I have to vent. When I see what is happening around me as the middle of the island continues to crumble and be neglected, neglected, it happens to be neglected all over the, all over the middle of the island, whether it be Hicksville, whether it be Mineola, whether it be Carl Place, whether it be Deer Park, we are suffering with trash. We are suffering with vagrants in our towns. We are suffering with our environment being neglected. Neglected. I don't know why I keep saying neglected. Neglected. All right? Is being neglected. And we are being discriminated against by all levels of government because they are all serving the same people. They are serving Wall Street. And Wall Street continues to gain power. Just when you think, oh, you see the stock market go down, they're going to lose their money, they're going to lose their power, it comes right back up again. All right, And some people have told me, you can't go against Wall Street. Well, I'm going to continue to go to Wall against Wall Street as long as I'm living here. All right, And some people don't understand it. They don't understand it. They don't get why I, I cannot stand the attitudes of these people. It's because they only want to live with their own kind. They demand the best for their own kind, whether it be uh, you know, gas, a, gas, a little gas problem in Lindbrook with the words of it, where some people are having a, 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 some of the business, there are a couple of vacant stores because they're, uh, they can't get natural gas service hooked up because of a, a natural gas shortage. Uh, you know, that gets the news, but we have empty stores all over in Mineola. That doesn't make the news. The, the, the news is there to serve them. They demand the best for their own kind, while the folks in the middle of the island are neglected, we're discriminated against. We are forgotten. All right, and it's all part of the plan to purge us out. Uh, it's all part of that plan. Meanwhile, due to climate change, the sea levels are rising. There's going to be hurricanes. The South Shore is not going to be sustainable. But these people are so full of themselves, such egomaniacs, that they don't see it. They don't see what's coming their way. And when their fl community gets flooded, they'll probably just rebuild it if there's a hurricane, just like they did with Long Beach. They'd rather be with their own kind and deal with hurricanes than have to mix with all different kinds of people. You know, They'd rather be with their own kind because they are some of the most snobby, racist people you'll ever meet. And I'm sorry for the rant, but it's true. It's true. I have to rant about it because I'm, I'm tired of the South Shore continuing to get preppier, snobbier, more selfish, getting all the preferential treatment, getting the best of everything while the middle of the island is dumped on and forgotten. And when it involves the Pine Barrens and I see the Pine Barrens being treated the way they are, then I really get pissed off. It has to stop. When are we going to rise up and fight Wall Street? Wall Street must be stopped. Because if we can't defeat Wall Street, if we cannot defeat Wall Street, it will be the end for us. It will be the end for the Long Island Pine Barrens, and it will be the end for all of us in the middle. We will be forced out or have to suffer with the continuing degradation of our communities. So um, that, that's what's going on. And you know what? Some people say, just move to New Jersey already. Just leave. It's hot there. It's hot there. It's humid there. And there's not as much public transportation. How is a person like me supposed to survive in a place like Tom's River when the humidity is high and it's hot all the time and it's way worse than Long Island and I have heat sensitivity? People don't understand that. They don't understand what it's like to have an anxiety attack, to get sick, to get tired, to, to deal with this illness you've had your whole life. They just say, you don't work, so you don't deserve to live with us on the South Shore. Sorry. That's their attitude. Well, screw that. They are such stuck-up bigots. 
They are such stuck-up bigots over there on the South Shore. And I know, not everybody on the South Shore is like that, but a lot of people are. And they're getting called out in this video once again. I don't care if I get 100 down votes for speaking my mind about this, but it has to be spoken about because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. what's going on. Wall Street must be stopped. This is a call to arms, one more call to arms for my fellow Long Islanders to join the fight and rise up against Wall Street once and for all. You vote all and anyone out that's connected to Wall Street, you vote them out of office. You demonstrate. You demonstrate in front of the TV stations, whether it be News 12 or whatever. Get together. We need Occupy. We need an, the, another Occupy Wall Street movement that is much bigger than the last one. Look at what's going on in Hong Kong. That's what we need to be doing now about our government mistreating the middle class and mistreating the blue collar workers, mistreating the disabled, mistreating the seniors, and worst of all, mistreating the environment just because it's not an area that's connected to Wall Street. So that's been my piece in this video, and I will fight as long as I can to, that I don't have to wind up in New Jersey. A lot of people are going there. A lot of people are being forced there, whether they like it or not. All right? It doesn't matter, uh, you know, how much you complain about it. They are powerful, Wall Street. They have Trump. They have Cuomo. They have Laura Curran. They have all these politicians on their side. So their own kind gets the best of everything while we get screwed time and time again. We have to stop this. And lastly, these women on the South Shore who think they are so full of themselves, you know, uh, you know, something, I, 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 you know, they, are, they may look physically attractive, and some people may think they're physically attractive, but they have an ugly soul inside of them. All right. And there, meanwhile, there are a lot of truly beautiful women that live in the middle of the island that have to deal with this too. And I feel bad for them when they have to exit the train and have to worry about their safety because of some freaking bum hanging around. All right? It's got to stop. I'm sorry for going off topic in this video, but you know what? It had to be said because it's all intertwined together. If the Pine Barrens doesn't get respect and, and, and doesn't get cleaned up, and we don't enforce the laws in the Pine Barrens, and the more and more bums start living in there and trashing the woods. The woods will become so unhealthy that they will start dying away. All right, though the pitch pines are pretty tough trees. They're not afraid of any bums. All right, but you know what? The bums that could start chopping down trees. They could start growing marijuana in there, and there's complete lawlessness just because it's not on the South Shore. And, um, uh, you know, when I see what's happening in Deer Park and when I saw that caterpillar having to live in that habitat, these are beautiful butterflies and their habitat is being destroyed and nobody gives a damn just because it's not with the Wall Street people on the South Shore. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. I'm sorry for this rant. I apologize, but I had to get this off my chest. You know what? I'm not going to apologize for my passion about Long Island and its Pine Barrens and how it needs respect and preservation and, and not becoming a dumping ground for the trash, MS-13, uh, and, and bums, all right? So that's the way I feel about it. I'm going through my own struggles personally as I'm dealing with the degradation. I thought I left th these problems when I left Westbury. I thought I was in the rearview mirror, and now they're coming to where I live now, all right? Just because... Just because they want to force me into New Jersey. You know what? I'm going to fight as long as I can. You know, worst comes to worst, I will have to live in Tom's River. It will happen because if I'm given the choice between having to deal with what I had to deal with Westbury again and, and, and Mineola is starting to become like Westbury, if it becomes like that, and those are my only options for Long Island, is to live with this, with this disgusting, dangerous bums and gangs and, and all this. If that's my only option... The, uh, for life on Long Island, then I have to leave. Then I have to leave. But I'll tell you this, I'm not, I'm not leaving without a fight, Wall Street. I'm, they're not going to keep me quiet. You're not going to intimidate me. We've got to stop being intimidated by Wall Street, and we've got to be that fearless girl and rise up against Wall Street. Our, our, our environment on Long Island literally depends on it. So that's been it for this video. Thank you for making it this far if you watch the whole thing. And again, I'm sorry for ranting. Some people may not like that. But this is my channel. And if I feel I need to make a rant every once in a while about what's happening, I'm going to make a rant about it. Thank you for watching. And take care.